What's happening everybody? We are back for another video. Hope you enjoyed the last one, the uh, the All-Ireland, the semi-final of the All-Ireland vlog. Um, today we are back on the same day that that one finished um, because tomorrow I have a match, I have one of our league games. So I just wanted to go over another day of match eating, match preparations, and uh, just take you through the kind of day. Um, but what I wanted to actually go into before tomorrow um, is eating the day before, which is something I haven't really chatted about, but something I think it's actually really important. Um, and probably something that I don't maybe do well, and it's like the day of a game I do pretty good, but maybe the day before I'm not doing too well. Um, and I think just the important thing is, you know, that carb loading. Um, in the past, I probably didn't do it too much because I didn't think it was necessary. And now, the further I get in, I realize it is a lot more important. Um, you know, basically the carb loading process is you're going to eat a lot more carbs the day before a game so that you're filling your body up with uh, that glycogen that you get from the carbohydrates which is then converted into, into fuel for the game um, and the more of you have, the more of it you have in you the, the less likely they are to get fatigued or you're going to be slower to get fatigued um, and what I've been finding the past couple of weeks is I, I tend to I'm timing my meals pretty well on the day and I'm eating the right foods, but uh, what I've been finding is when I have when I have too much food nearly in my stomach, I feel very heavy or something, even if I'm not necessarily heavier in the scales. So I think it's actually important for me anyway to try and eat a bit more the day before, get as many of that, uh, get as much of that glycogen in the, in the body as I can. And then really the day of a game, it's just kind of topping up on that. Um, so today, throughout the whole day, I've been eating just extra carbs in every meal. Um, we stopped a couple of times on the way up and down from Dublin, and I was picking up like a flapjack um, in the shop, which is just basically loads of oats and fire and adding. Um, and then tonight, I'm finishing off uh, my eating today with uh, some porridge. So this is just some porridge, and I made it with some almond milk, and then I threw in this here, options, hot chocolate. Never done this before, but you know, I'm, a, I'm an inventive kind of guy. And uh, this here looks appealing and it tastes actually really good. So, before we go into tomorrow, the day before game, basically just eat some extra carbs and each meal add a wee bit extra than you normally would eat and finish off the day with some sort of carby meal like maybe oats, um, maybe something like a smoothie or else even um, maybe you could have maybe a bigger meal, but I wouldn't need anything too, too big or heavy because it might affect your sleep. This here bowl of porridge, there's 80 grams there, which for me isn't a ton, um, so it shouldn't give me too many problems. Tomorrow we're going to get into the rest of the eating and how I'm timing it, take you to the preparations, so we'll see you then. Yo, welcome back. It is 8am here, just gone past 8am. And uh, it's breakfast time. I've got one client in today, 10. Don't take too many people on Sundays, but I do today. It's a really depressing day out there. This is a bit shitty for the game, but it is what it is. Um, so, breakfast time. Go in. Three eggs, scrambled. I'm gonna go 80 grams of oats. In those oats, I'm gonna put some honey. I'm gonna put banana. And I really like this year, should have put in last night, so I'm gonna put some more of that in. That's breakfast. Um, it's actually a bit lighter than I normally would eat. I know it probably sounds like a lot, but I eat a lot, okay? Um, so yeah, let's get cooking here. Breakfast, gotta get some coffee on board. Some real nice coffee here, look at that there. Some fancy coffee. And watching the Oakland Raiders um, Hard Knocks season one. Or episode one, whatever the fuck it is. But it's a good watch. Um, that porridge I had was unreal, with the chocolate in it. Kinda nearly was tempted for another bowl, and I realized I didn't have the chocolate stuff, but good shit, good shit. So, that was the first meal, 8 a.m., trying to eat a good bit. Now and then uh, later on, we we'll probably have one more meal and uh, maybe a snack as well. 
so I've just been kind of chilling out here the past uh, past hour and a half since eating breakfast. I'm going down to the gym now to take that client I was chatting about. Um, that'll be just for an hour and then I'll be back up to the house. Um, started reading this here book here, uh, Speed Strength by Joel Smith. I've only started in it, but it's really interesting. It's nearly like an encyclopedia on sprinting, and that's one of the things in in coaching and particularly training that I'm fascinated about is is how to get faster. And um, it's something I'm always kind of reading about, but this year book seems really interesting. But I think that's one of the things in game day is don't you know don't overhype yourself because um, sometimes you can sit all day and just focus on the game, visualize and focus on it. It nearly has an adverse effect. So I think sometimes just sitting and chilling out is nearly the best thing to do in the morning of a game. And um, that's what I like to do is either read, do some work on the laptop, which I was doing before that there, or else work down to gym, keeps your mind off it and um, I think it, it just allows you a wee bit of a break from it so whenever you go to the game, whenever you start to get prepared, you're not really kind of mentally worn out or else maybe I'm chatting shy. So I actually decided to eat before I went down so I wanted to have my, my next meal at 10 o'clock, I'm coaching at 10 and by the time I get back and end up chatting, finish chatting, it'll probably be half 11 and then I'm sort of getting ready to head to the game. So, Meat now, uh, a toast bagel, just a small bit of fruit, I might eat this apple as well. And that'll really be the last big meal now, and this is about quarter to ten. Um, the game's not they have to, so maybe just have a couple of rice cakes in between, in between now and the game, but that's the last big meal. So I want to show you a few of the snacks I picked up before the game. Um, got two Lucas aids, so one I'll sip on the way to the match um, and before the game starts. And then I got a second one for half time. I'll probably drink about half of it. And then I have these Rice Krispie bars. Now I'll probably only have one of these here, maybe about an hour out from the game, just as a sort of light snack. Um, so I don't want anything too heavy at that point. And then finally it was just uh, some sweets. Always have them either right before we go out um, or else at half time. Um, and just take a few of them, like a small handful, before and during. That's the snacks I'm having before uh, before the game and during the game. Um, it's now about like two hours out, so it's about 20 past 12, so I really don't want to eat too much now, but I am a wee bit hungry, so I'm just going to have um, a couple of rice cakes, maybe like two or three, and then I'm going to have a bit of coffee as well, just for a wee bit of caffeine. And that's pretty much everything I'm going to eat now, up until the game. Um, the mistake I always make is I eat really well and then I feel quite hungry and eat too much the last kind of hour or two and then I feel, don't feel great during the game. So I'm trying to tell myself, don't overeat, don't be greedy, don't be fat, because it doesn't feel good in the game. Um, but yeah, uh, really hoping we can get the one here, really hoping. Updating the whole not overeating thing. Um, chocolate. These two rice cakes are stuck together. They won't break apart, so that only counts as one. Okay, so uh, just about to go to the game, so just packed my bag before I go, um, so I'll show you everything I'm putting in here. So, training top, we have a lovely training top, look at that there. So, training top in the bag for warming up, shorts, obviously, I wear Under Armour shorts because these ones don't have a rope on them, yeah, they don't have a rope on them, so basically I need that in case they fall down and then bad things will happen. Um, my socks. But I actually am putting these in as well because sometimes those socks don't feel good. So I like to uh, either switch to them if I'm not liking them ones. Uh, one cheater because it's a fairly depressing day out there. Um, my MC Gaelic gloves, they uh, sort them out with some gloves and so far really liking them. Um, I just have this sort of deep heat gel if I'm feeling uh, any niggles, but thankfully I'm feeling good. And then finally, these bad boys, the power swords. And uh, that's everything that's in my bag, everything I bring to the game. I'll just throw them snacks that I have as well in, but um, yeah, game time now. 
Uh, I'm excited, I'm looking forward to this game, but we fucking really, really need a win, so hopefully we can do it. So good. Back home there now, we got the win. Um, really good fucking performance by everybody in the team. Um, just good to get the one that was just relief more than anything. Uh, it was a really tough game. They really put it up this, but uh, it was good. Feels fucking class to one. Feels really good. Um, so yeah, that is the day done. That is the pre-game eating preparations, all that kind of shit. Hope you find it useful. If you have, like the page, share it. Uh, share it to anyone that might find it useful. But as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.